what's going on YouTube today I'm gonna take a look at QR codes what they are and how you can make use of them so on the screen I've got a QR code that I created for my YouTube channel and if you've ever been to these big box electronic stores or maybe even at the movie theater you've seen these on movie posters and you've probably wondered what are they or you just ignored them and thought nothing of them they're actually called QR codes and they contain lots of information in them which when you scan them with a appropriate device will take you to a web page or dial a number or even download an app onto your device so the app that I'm using to scan QR codes is called QRPEL so let's take a look at it so here we have QRPL. I'm on the settings tab of it. You can see on the bottom there's uh, five options. And I'm going to go into scanner. If I tap that. So here I'm on the scanner tab of QRPL. And I'm going to maneuver the camera and my phone to a QR code that I actually have on my uh, monitor. So hopefully this isn't too uh, blurry or motion sickness inducing and there's a QR code I've made and it's locked on when you get the green tab uh, buttons like that and you can see it's picked up that yes it is a link to my homepage and I'm just gonna hit save and the nice thing about QRPEL that I've noticed versus other uh, QR code scanners is you could save these in what's called the wallet within QRPAL and reference them later if you want to. Um, this is good if you are shopping and you want to compare a lot of products. You could scan all their QR codes and save them and look at them later. One of the other things that I like about this is that you don't have to push a camera button. As soon as it detects the code, it scans it in and saves it, uh, which is really convenient. And I really like that feature the most personally. Because I've used other QR code scanners and you have to wait for it to focus and press your you know shutter button and sometimes it doesn't always work. Another nice thing about QRPAL is it does have a built-in browser so you can just browse to a link um, right from within it. And then if you're the social media type, I'm going to go to the share tab here. Uh, you can see there's some options. You can link this to your Twitter, Facebook, or LinkedIn and share QR code scans that you've made through there. I haven't done that yet, but at some point in the future I may do that. So that option is there for you as well. And then you can see there's my account. You can set up a account with QRPAL. It's not necessary, it's an optional thing. But if you do, they claim you can win prizes and get other offers. So that's something cool as well. So again, this is QRPAL, I'll throw up a QR code on the screen now and if you wanna try it out feel free to give it a shot it is a free app it's supported by ads and hopefully this kinda unravels the mystery about these little square uh, pixelated images you might have seen in various places if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you wanna see more videos like this in the future go ahead and hit that subscribe button up top and if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for me, send me a message through my homepage, which if you scan the QR code that you're seeing now, will take you there. Or you can follow the link in the video description as well. Or send me a message here on YouTube through my channel. Until next time, hope you enjoy using QRPEL to scan every QR code in sight. Take care and enjoy.